Bless you, praise the Lord. This is your friend and brother in the Gospel Street, Pastor Preacher Warren. We get ready to do our midnight teaching. I want to thank God for all of you out there who showed so much love and so much encouragement to me and my wife and celebrate my birthday. You made my birthday very special to God. Be the glory first. And I praise God for all of you who sent out, uh, who sent beautiful love offerings to me. I did not expect none of that. But thank you for the love you have shown me. You sent into my cash app. And many of you sent into my gold, our gold funding, which will help us um, get a church that we can rent out and have the living services. It's called Holy and Heavenly Flame of Fire Miracle Church Ministry on the street pastor, preacher Warren, and missionary Priscilla Lady Adams. So I thank God for all of you out there. And um, I have a word for you. Is there a word from the Lord? This morning on this midnight hour, the Lord gave me a special message just for you. My message is Satan's grip. It will be broken off of your life. I felt that as for somebody out there who's suffering. Satan's grip will be broken off of your life. It might be the scripture where it says so in Zephaniah is not by might. It's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. I even love that book of Zechariah. What well, that means is not by the might of men. It's not by the power of men, but it's by the power of God. And it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. I always ask God, give me the anointing. When I preach the gospel, I need the anointing. When I sing, I play my bass guitar, uh, keyboard, I need the anointing. There's a lot of people who are singing gospel, singing gospel, but there's no anointing. There's no power because they're singing to the devil. Oh, they're preaching. Oh, they know their Bible real good. They're intellectual, went to school, and know how to use the big words. And, but there's no anointing. There's no power. There's no demons getting cast out. There's no yokes being broken. There's no yokes being destroyed. I mean, just because the church is dashing and shouting, it don't necessarily mean that people are being delivered. Come on, it gets emotion this, and don't get me wrong. David danced before the ark, but he had a reason why he danced before the ark. When he danced before the ark, praising his God, he was under the anointing. It wasn't no performance. It wasn't no entertainment. It was the anointing, and it was with the spirit of holiness. A lot of folk jump and shout, but there ain't no holiness involved. That's why ain't no power. Just emotion because the music sound good. Or, or the drummer's going real fast. Yet they still smoking and drinking and cussing and cheating on their wife, cheating on their husband. There ain't no holiness involved. See, when you really have the anointing, you know, there's holiness involved. A lot of preachers don't want to preach holiness. Amen. So I want the anointing to break the yoke. I don't want no demon spirit shouting with me in the church. Demons are opposed to get cast out. Not demons singing in the choir and up in the usher board and up in the deacon department. Even preaching the gospel on the pulpit but not living the gospel because the devil even knows the Bible but he does not live it because Jesus said he's a liar and a father of lies and the truth is not in him. So I want Satan's grip to be broken off your life. That's going to take the anointing to break Satan's grip. Uh, praise be the Prince of Peace. I was showing you a lot of my preaching videos I did uh, before I go into this special message, uh, I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old. I shows, I shared some of my preaching videos with you when I preach them in the projects before I moved here to New Jersey and, and married my wonderful wife, Lady Priscilla. Uh, I've been preaching up in the hoods and the projects, and not just only in churches. Um, I want to share one video with me, uh, one video with you when I preach up in the project. And there was miracles going on in the basketball court. I used to give services on the basketball court. And, uh, a young, uh, one Spanish man came. His son was dying in the hospital. We prayed for him. And the following week, he got healed. God did that. I didn't do it. I, I can't work miracles. But I preach about the miracle worker. But the best miracle is to see a soul come to Jesus and be saved from a burning hell uh, by repenting from their sins. I uh, praise God. Satan's grip was being broken even on the basketball court where there were shootouts going on and uh, preaching up in drug dealing areas. And uh, this was one of the videos I did uh, where I was preaching on the basketball court and miracles was happening. I just show a little clip of it. Check this out.
This is on the basketball call up in the Bronx. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Let me see, can I turn the volume up? Some souls that came to Jesus on the basketball court. I got the testimony when the young man, well, I got so many videos right here. This is about preaching to the Catholic churches up in the Bronx. And there's some souls who came to Jesus. Ah, praise God. I'm going to show you some more of these videos in the future. I want to share more. We had a lot of people came to Jesus on the basketball court. Uh, I got services where we did services. It is in Harlem. Like John the Spanish Church, they asked me to come preach up in Harlem. I was born in Harlem, matter of fact. Amen. And I started preaching up in Harlem when I was 12 years old and the Bronx, giving my street meetings. But I was asked to preach in Harlem. This is a couple of years ago here, where a lot of souls came to Jesus. We was feeding homeless people on Lexington Avenue. Uh, me and the Spanish churches got together. Let me show you a little bit of it. Because of your prayers. You're going to say, Lord. Say, Lord. Say, Lord. Say, Lord. Forgive me. For all of my sins. Wash my sins away. Fill me. With the power. Of your Holy Spirit. Speaking. In other tongues. As your spirit. Give utterance. Be Lord of my life. Be my Savior. Turn my heart. Children. We pray for our children. 
We pray for our young people. We pray for every young man, every woman that's here. Anyone who wants prayer, we are my prayer for you today. Pray that you have. That's a wonderful God. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, oh, those are the young people who came to Jesus. Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, young people came to the Lord up in the Bronx. Oh, this is why I used to preach. Also, Satan's grip was broken off their life. The Lord showed me that one got molested. It was the mother. And she come back and told me it was her who got molested when she was a girl. And God began to heal her broken heart. Amen. Right there in New York City. Praise God. It's like ever since I left New York City and preaching in the areas, it's like it got worse. You know, the area where they had the girl uh, with a little boy died, the one years old in that daycare when they had the drug fentanyl. I used to preach right in front of that daycare all that time. And the woman who got arrested, well, and her husband run, ran a drug raid. I didn't know that was even going on. She heard me preach the word, but she never received the gospel. So they had their chance then. It's not too far from where I lived at. But going back to this young lady, um, she got delivered from the flashbacks of the past from when she was molested as a girl. Praise God. She was still wrestling with the flashbacks of the past, even when she got grown and Satan's grip was broken off her life. And the devil's grip can be broken off your life. The demons of molestation, the demons of drugs, the demons of crack, the demons that have been trying to claim your children, the demons that have been trying to claim your grandchildren. Uh, many of you are being abused in relationships. You married a devil. You married a she devil and a he devil. Oh, they started off like they was real for God at first, like they loved you, but soon you gave your heart to them, all of a sudden now the real side of them begin to come out, the evil side of them begin to come out, you say, oh Lord, I done married the wrong one, I done married the devil, so now your heart been broken, so now you know, they don't want, he don't want to pay no child support, don't want to claim his children, now you taking him to court, now you and him having arguments, and so now you stressed out and a lot of men going through the same thing with the baby mothers. Don't want the, she don't want to let you see your child. So now, now your life is miserable. But I hear the Lord said Satan's grip can be broken. If it starts with repentance, just say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me, Lord, for fornicating. Lord, forgive me, Lord, for committing adultery. Lord, forgive me, Lord, Lord, forgive me, Lord, for taking drugs and alcohol. I just was depressed, God. I didn't know how to release this depression, but now, Lord, I know I can give it to you. I don't have to be depressed. You can give me rest. All of my higher most satire. Satan's grip is being broken off somebody's life even right now. The demons of nightmares. I got a special message for those out there in Hollywood. The devil's grip can be broken off your life. I just want to, before I go into that, amen, the prayer for you. I want to show some of my preaching videos here. Just a little bit of it. I remember I was ministering up here. Uh, there was a lesbian who came to Jesus. I remember this one. If I can find it, praise God. I got so many videos here. There was a lesbian who came to Jesus. and uh, the, Lord, she, the Lord showed me she was bound by witchcraft. And the Lord set her free. Oh, this is why I was preaching here in the mall, the shopping mall, where Target was at and all the other supermarkets was at and different stores. This is when the coronavirus came out. And God had me preaching up in the mall. Praise God. And churches was closed down. I was out there preaching up in the mall. People started coming to Jesus. This is up in the mall. Let me show it to you. Joy that drugs cannot give us. That God can give us a joy that crack cocaine cannot give us. And that's eternal life with Jesus Christ after we die. By repenting of our sins and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remissions of sin and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is just Bible prophecy come to pass. The Bible talks about the plague and the virus in the book of Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 8. The Bible talks about the plague is in the word of God. This is just Bible prophecy come to pass. We're living in the end times. The Bible said, perilous times shall come. This is the end times. Bible prophecy is coming to pass. Everything this Bible talks about is coming to pass. Everything Jesus said is going to happen is happening now. While we're alive, we still have a chance to give our hearts to Jesus Christ while we're still alive before God destroys the world. God can still have mercy in the midst of all this is going on. If we repent of our sins, the word repent means to stop and turn away from our sins when God be sorry. I feel the Holy Ghost. All I'm going to tell you I was out there preaching for hours. Oh, my God. And after a while, people started coming to Jesus. 
There's another one where I was warning the Masons, preaching at the Masonic Temple in Harlem, warning them to come out the Masonic Lodge. <laughs> preaching at the Masonic Lodge there, right in front of the Masonic Lodge, right in Harlem, as years ago. Praise God. And before you can know it, people started coming to the Lord right there in Harlem. There's a long vi video right there. I'm going to show you some more in the future. But what are you getting at, Preacher Warren? Satan's grip can be broken off your life. There are people who pronounce word curses over you when you was a child. So you don't know why you can't stay in a relationship. You don't know why you can't keep a job. And you know you had the qualifications for that job, but like every time you move up, there's been a wall that's been blocking you. There's been a hindering spirit that's been blocking you. You might have had people who was in the cult in your family. It might be your grandfather or your grandmother or your father or your mother. The Eastern Star, who's a woman version of the Mason. Some of the Illuminati's. And they spoke a word curse to use you as a sacrifice, even in the church. A lot of people are shouting Claim to have the Holy Ghost and still worshiping Balfamet on the side. Still a Luciferian on the side. The devil got you thinking that Lucifer is still good. No, he used to be good, but he's now evil. Very simple to understand. 
They done spoke this word curse over you when you was a baby. So now you're wrestling with all these demons. You're getting tormented in your mind. You became schizophrenic. You're having all these anxiety attacks and mental disorders because you was born in a generational curse. And God is speaking to somebody out there right now. But I hear the Lord saying that Satan's grip shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, even right now. Uh, let's go to the book of... We're living in a time where the war is going on in Israel. Hamas is attacking Israel and all this war going on. Jesus spoke about this in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. It shall be wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. You look all around the world. Demons in Hollywood is getting worse. You got clone people cloning this one and cloning that one. People are exposing each other up in Hollywood, but who's repenting? What's the sense of exposing other people and you're not right with God yourself? And Jesus said, don't be a hypocrite. Get the mope out of your own eye before you try to cast the beam out of your brother's eye. You can't be exposing other devil worshipers and yet you're doing the same thing. The mark of the beast is in the churches, is in the gospel music world, the gospel music industry. They became just as worldly, looking like the world, dressing like the world, breasts out it. They claim to love Jesus. They ain't no holy dressing. And they're talking about where God is not concerned about what you wear. Yes, he is, because if you're a child of God, if God said live holy, then he wants you to dress holy. Be holy inside and out. That's why he said be holy, for I am holy. Now you can't even tell the world from the church. The mark of the beast is in the government. It's in the microchips. It, oh, 666. Look at the book of Revelation. It's chapter number uh, 13. I want to read this real quick about the man of sin. Revelations chapter number 13. Turn with me. Uh, it said, and he had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and the number is six hundred three score and six that's six 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 the stage is being set for the Antichrist. So you see all these wars that's going on. Baba prophecy is coming to pass. The Jews have been praying at the wedding wall in Jerusalem uh, for the Messiah to come. Because they, did not, they don't believe that Jesus was actually the Messiah. Uh, because they said well, they say, well, he, well, Jesus hung with sinners. But they don't understand that Jesus said, I didn't come to call the righteous. I come to call the sinners to repentance. Jesus was concerned about the inner man. It's not that he was not concerned with um, the oppression that the Jewish empire was going through under the Roman empire, uh, that the Jewish nation rather was going through under the Roman empire. He was concerned about that, but he was concerned about the inner man. He came to wash away our sins uh, for where Adam and Eve had messed up. Uh, the priests uh, back in the Old Testament, uh, the Jews at that time offered up lamb's blood under the law of Moses, for the washing away of his sins. But Yahshua, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, made it easier. Where well, he offered up himself. He offered up himself for the world. Jesus said, I laid down my life and I'll take it back up again. Ah, uh, Yahshua HaMashiach. They didn't understand that at the time because hell beneath the earth is worse than hell on earth. So he came to shed, he shed his blood to wash away our sins. Jesus died for the ungodly. While we were, while we were sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Pray with the name of Jesus that he rose from the dead the third day morning. The number three means resurrection because Jesus came to break this devil's grip. That's why Jesus said, I come to set the captive free. I come to heal your broken hearts. He, Jesus Christ did not come to oppress. He came to deliver you who have been oppressed and depressed. That's why he said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. He said, I am the way, 
the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me, not by anyone else, only through Jesus Christ. But we're living in days of people are cussing at God and damning his name and damning the name of Jesus. They're mocking them. They don't care what they say. A lot of people don't believe in the wrath of God. Brazil mocked God, mocking him in the streets the next day. Jesus sent a flood and destroyed Brazil. People are there cussing at him. All their minds became corrupt. They think they can challenge God and win. Your arms is too short to box with God. Everyone who challenges God has always lost. You know, those people are reprobated because they became prideful and arrogant. They think they God. But look, the Bible declares ye are gods. In the book of Psalms, chapter number 82, we come against the demons of soul travel. The witches and warlocks around this time of the day doing soul travel and, wick and witchery and black magic and all this. The one that so many demons has been released in the city. Too much devil worship going on. But Satan's grip is going to be broken in the name of Jesus. Ah, all these mediums and sorcerers putting out all this evil spirits. It will be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Jesus wants to break the devil's grip off your life if you are willing to repent. Oh, come on. You got to humble yourself. God not going to respond to your prayer if you're not humble. That's what the Bible declares in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. That's the key thing. Humble yourself and pray. Then you are praying, but you're not yet. You skipped over being humble. Now, I guess well, I don't understand why God don't answer my prayer. Then God must not be real. I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. And now you're cursing at Jesus. No, because you're not humble. It's a certain way to pray. I'm going to teach you how to get the devil's grip broken off your life. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Very simple. Uh, before you pray, you got to be humble. Because the Bible declares that God resists the proud and give us grace unto the what? The humble. Jesus said in the meek shall inherit the earth. What do it mean to be meek? It means to be humble. Moses in the book of Numbers chapter 12 says, the Bible said that Moses was the most meek man above all the men on the face of the earth. That means he was the most humblest one. His character pleased God. His heart pleased God. Jeremiah chapter number 17 verse number 9, the Bible said that the heart is desperately wicked. It is a seafold above all things. Who can know it? I, the Lord God, knows the heart. It's, it's, it's not just wicked, but it's desperately wicked. That's why people are doing wicked things, because their heart is wicked. God chose Moses because his heart was right. So God does not like a proud spirit. That's why the Bible declares in Proverbs chapter number 6, verse 16, one of the six things that God hate, the Bible says he hate, is a proud look. God cannot stand proud. So before you pray, you got to humble yourself and pray. Now I keep going. Cause many of you people are praying, but you're skipping over, but you're skipping over being humble. Oh, come on. T pray and obey. Tell someone pray and obey. Many of you are praying, but not obeying the same God you're praying to. For want to get blessed, but don't want to come out of mess. Now, humble yourself and pray. Seek my face. It didn't, it didn't say seek Baal. It didn't say seek Zeus. Zeus is a myth. Jesus is the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Yahshua, said himself, he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Don't seek the witch doctor. Don't seek the second reader of the Tariq Khan readers. Do, do not seek the divination spirits. God told Israel in the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31, Regard not them who have familiar spirits. Neither seek after the wizards. Wizards are male witches. For I am the Lord your God. Not magic. Oh, come on. Some of you are talking about you're doing magic. No, God is against magic. Magic do not break the yoke. Magic creates yokes. It's the anointing that breaks the yokes. Oh, it is the anointing who can break the devil's grip. Off your life, not Harry Potter, not Sabrina the Teenage Witch, not no exorcist. They got demons in them. Oh, come on. The anointing is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is the devil's biggest nightmare. Jesus Christ frightens the grim reapers. He frightens the angel of death because the angel of death even knows uh, that Jesus Christ is a resurrection and the life. And though he was dead, yet shall he live. And he that believeth in me, Jesus said, shall never die. Uh, when Jesus walked through hell, hell freezes. I'm going to say it again. I said, when Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, walks through hell, hell freezes. The demons of darkness bow. Oh, I know you feel the Holy Ghost missionary Priscilla. Huh? I said the demons bow. They begin to freeze. Uh, the big dragon begins to bow to the king of kings. Uh, the so-called Godzilla bow to the real gods. Oh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost because when Jesus speaks, demons come out of tension. When Jesus speaks, the dead get up. That's why when Jesus called Lazarus out of his grave, he had to say the name Lazarus because if he did not say the name Lazarus, all the dead would have got up. So he had to say, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said, he that was dead came forth. Oh, wrapped up in grave clothes. I hear the Lord saying right now, many of you out there is getting ready to come forth. Huh? Oh, you've been wrapped up in spiritual grave clothes. You had schizophrenic. You, you are suffering with anxiety attacks and depression and nightmares. But I hear the Lord saying, Satan's grip is getting ready to get broken off your life. Not just broken, but destroyed. Mm -hmm. I feel the anointing right now. Oh, many of you preachers out there, uh, you need to come out that Masonic Lodge. You are the exposing other devil worshippers, yet you are devil worshipping yourself. Stop being a hypocrite. Get the mope out of your own now. Oh, come on, come on. I saw preachers out there, many of you are, yes, you exposing the sin. Now you telling people about how to watch out about other devil worshippers, yet you still a mason yourself. You got skeletons in your own closet. You got to live what you preach. Uh, Paul said, they that preach the gospel must live the gospel, not just preach it. Oh, come on. You got skeletons in your own closet. Don't tell me how to live holy, but you ain't living holy yourself. You are the devil's minister. That's what the devil don't try to hinder you. Because the devil's saying to himself, well, even though he preaching the Bible, but he's one of my ministers. The Bible said Satan transformed himself as an angel of light. He come as a false apostle. That's why Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. You don't know them by their suits. <laughs> you should know them by their fruits. Because the very one wearing nice suits might be working roots. They only have a form of God in this. Hello, somebody. But denying the power. So now you're going to these pastor's ministries, thinking he's a man of God. And he's laying hands on you, transferring all these spirits on you. And you wonder why you can't get a prayer through because you're sitting under a mason. You're sitting under a wizard. You're sitting under a warlock who you think who's God's pastor, but he's scattering the flock. Come on. He's scattering the sheep. Woe be to you pastors who scatter my flock. Woe be to you pastors who scatter my sheep. Repent. I else you're going to hell. Oh, come on, come on. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they would not follow. This is why we need the Holy Ghost. Uh, so that's what's missing in the churches now is the Holy Ghost. Uh, many of you churches only have a form of godliness, uh, but denying the power. Uh, you're thinking because you'll get emotional that that's the anointing. No, it takes more than just a jump and a shout. The devil can jump and shout. Uh, there's demons in the church who's shouting along with you because you're not worshiping Jesus. Many of you are worshiping the devil. Even in the gospel music stellar awards, you're doing satanic rituals. Uh, Jesus said, these people honor me with their lips uh, and draw nigh unto me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. And you do worship me in vain, teaching the doctrines and the commandments and the traditions of men. Woe be to you. You cannot expect Satan's grip to be broken and you still living in sin. 
Oh, come on, you prosperity preachers, come on, get it right. You better get it right. You, uh, you, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. If my people, which are called by my name, shall not, not by Daddy Grace, not by Buddha, or, or I know someone gonna get mad at me right now, but it's the truth. But it's about the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, Lordy, 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 Philippians in chapter number 2, verse number 10 and verse number 11, Yahshua HaMashiach. If you want that voodoo to leave, call the name of Jesus. Turn down your plate and fast and pray, because Jesus said, this kind, this kind comes out only by fasting and praying. If you don't fast, you're not going to last. If you don't pray, then you're not going to stay. If my people which are called by my name so hum at themselves and break. Seek my face. Turn from your wicked ways. Stop the war. Stop the jealousy. Stop the racism. Stop the murder. Stop the adultery. Stop the robbing. Or you will pay a price. It will be a penalty. You will suffer the wrath of God. The wrath of God is real. He's sick of the wicked. The Bible said that God is angry at the wicked every day, cussing at him. You, do, do you think you're going to keep cursing at Jesus and get by with it? Oh, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of an angry God. Someone said, well, God is love. Yeah, but he doesn't love evil. He doesn't love sin. Why do you think God destroyed the world back in the days of Solomon and Gomorrah? He destroyed the cities of Solomon and Gomorrah. Oh, come on. I got to talk about the wrath of God too, not just the love of God. His, his love is just as, the wrath of God is just as real as his love. When you mess with God's people, you're messing with God. No weapon that's formed against a child of God shall prosper. When you try to put a curse on a child of God, you in trouble. Because when you mess with God's people, God is going to mess with you. Now you wonder why people are dropping dead and people getting sick. Because those people was messing with God's people, doing the witchcraft on that woman on the job. Because they were jealous of you on the job because you love Jesus. And they, they went down to a witch doctor or they're trying to put voodoo on you. So now the voodoo done backfired. They done caught a stroke. Oh, come on. God ain't playing. He said, I turn you over to a reprobated mind. God is not playing. Choose you this day who you shall serve. God or Baal. Baal can't save you. Baal is a statue. God told Israel, thou shalt not have no other God before me. And every time they rebel against God, God turned them over to the heathen nations. He turned them over into captivity. Oh, uh, come on. Do not repeat history. He said, I am the Lord your God. I sent, my, I sent Jesus of Nazareth, who you have crucified. The Romans have crucified Jesus. But you have a chance to come to Yahshua HaMashiach because the first time he came to earth, he only came to die for the world. Praise the Lord. And he arose from the dead the third day morning. His bones are not in the tomb. His body is not in the tomb. Jesus has risen from the dead. He is Lord. At the end of the world, Jesus Christ will come with his sword riding on the white horse. And he will fulfill the prophecy of the, of the Messiah. He will destroy the heathens. He will destroy the wicked. He will destroy the Antichrist. With the brightness of his coming, Satan's grip will be broken off your life. It can be destroyed. I want to talk to those in Hollywood. Because I'm sensing those in Hollywood who have signed a contract with the devil. There are many of those who have been cloned, who has been kidnapped by the Illuminati. There's a witchcraft worker out there who's in the music industry. Demons been taking you over. Ah, oh, come on. And you want to be delivered from this demon. You know that's not you. This demon takes you over on the stage. This this demon takes control over you and you cannot control yourself. And the human side of you wants to be delivered. Guess who's the answer for your problem? <laughs> Jesus. Ah! Jesus is the answer for, to your problem. I said, call on Jesus if you really want to be delivered. Come on, fall on your face before God and say, Lord, Lord, deliver me. I want
want to be free. I guarantee you, Jesus will touch you. He'll deliver your mind. He'll save your soul. He'll make the devil lose his grip off you right now. And loose your grip, Satan, off her. Off him in the name of Jesus. If you got to bring the dead back to life, you can call that person's spirit back in the person's body. Because Jesus got power over the Graham Reaper. If God choose to have mercy, he will have mercy on whom he will. Break the covenant that you sign, that he signed with the devil. Jesus can break the contract that you signed with the devil. I'm not talking about those of you who want to stay with the devil. This don't apply to you because you're in love with the devil. You want to be the bride of Satan and the wizard of Satan. Then this don't apply. If this don't apply, then let it fly. I'm talking about those of you who wants to be free. Those of you who wants to be saved. Those of you who want to be delivered. Jesus is the answer to your problem. He's the answer to your situation. Only believe. Just believe. I remember when Lena Horn sung that song. Believe in yourself. As I believe in you. Believe in the magic. But I got to correct that right now. Not in the magic. Believe in the anointing. Believe in the Holy Ghost. Huh? Because see, magic creates yokes. But it's the anointing that destroys the yokes. Not the magic. Uh, come on, somebody. I love the way she sung that song. But first of all, before you believe in yourself, believe in God. And Jesus said, believe also in me. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, believe in God. Believe also in me. Because Jesus said, I am my father. I want St. John chapter number 10, verse 30. Uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 9. Jesus said, uh, I am he that have seen me, have seen the father. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, Yahshua said in the book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 58, before Abraham was, I am. That's the same thing God told Moses through the burning bush uh, in the book of Exodus, chapter number 3, mm -hmm, in verse 14. Uh, praise God. So when you believe in God, you believe in Jesus because Jesus said, I am my father, I one. In my father's house, there are many mansions. <laughs> If it, oh my God, he said, believe in God, believe also in me. I go to prepare a place for you. And when I come again, I will receive you unto myself. The way I am, that he may be also. Satan's Jesus said, I can break the devil's grip off your life. He said, I was the one who cast out devils. Uh, the scribes and Pharisees said, I cast out devils through bells above, the prince of demons. Uh, but I stopped by to tell you, Jesus wants you to know, how can Satan cast out Satan? That was blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Uh, he, Jesus wants you to know, I can heal your broken heart. I come to set the captive free. Just come to me and repent from your sins uh, and be baptized. Uh, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMessiah. Uh, 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 Lordy, 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 for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, see, the churches are missing the Holy Ghost. Uh, or you shouting, but you don't have the Holy Ghost. Uh, or you sang in the choir, but you don't have the Holy Ghost. That's why it ain't no holiness. Uh, that's why it ain't no deep. Demons being cast out. Demons are shouting along with you, singing in the choir. They in the deacon department. They in the usher board. Even ushering in the church. Even up on the pulpit. Oh, come on. It's time for the church to get right with God because God is coming back for holy people. Yes, I'm coming back for a bride without spot or wrinkle. I want a holy bride, not a lukewarm church. Because Jesus says, if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. A lot of churches are mega, but the spirit of the Lord is not even there. If you want Satan's grip to be broken off your life, throw away those Illuminati signs. Stop blowing up pyramid signs. Get rid of the mock of the beast and get the mock of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. I feel the anointing right now. Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. I'm going to pray for those of you in Hollywood who wants the devil's grip to be broken off your life. 
You may be a Satan worshiper who's tired of being a Satan worshiper. Jesus can deliver you right now. You might be a lesbian or a homosexual who wants to be free. Your gay lover cannot love you like Jesus. God can love you better. I'm not talking about sinful love. I'm talking about God's love. The agape love. You may have been raped or sexually abused. Jesus can heal your broken heart right now from the flashbacks. For you were sexually abused from the past. It's not your fault that you've been sexually abused. So don't blame yourself. Jesus said, I can break the devil's grip off your life. And then after he does that, he can give you power to stay free. And who the son set free, he's free indeed. Praise him for it right now in the name of Jesus. Break the devil's grip off that witchcraft worker and wizard who wants to be saved in Hollywood. In the music industry. Lucifer, in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off God's people. We command Satan, the demons of darkness, to go back to the pits of hell. I command you. In the name of Yahshua, demons come under subjection to the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Of that person's life, nightmares, go. Anxiety, go. Depression, go. In the name of Jesus, go back to the pits of darkness. Take your hands off her mind. Take your hands off his mind. Covered us with the blood of Jesus, the angels of the Lord, and camp about those who fear the Lord. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Stay in the word. Stay in your Bible. Abide in my words, Jesus said. Let my words abide in you. Seek and these shall find. Knock and the doors shall be opened unto you, says the Lord. My peace I give unto thee. Jesus has open arms to embrace you with his love. Like the, like the father who received the prodigal son who came back to him. Many of you out there are backslid backsliders who got hurt in the church on the false pastors who has brutalized you who have threw off on you from the pulpit lusting after your wife or lusting after your husband jesus said i come to heal your broken heart he said i have a remnant that i'm bringing back into the fold i have sheep that's not of this fold i've chosen you my child to be my people you are peculiar people and a holy generation, and a royal priesthood. I'm coming back. Be ready, my people. I'm coming back for a bride without spot or wrinkle. Be ready, my people. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't be left behind. I want your name to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. How about you? I want my name to be in the book. I know my wife wants her name to be in the book. Your name is already in the book. You have a new name written down in glory. Oh, yes, it's yours. And those who lost your loved ones, who died in Jesus, we're going to all be together in paradise. You're going to see your sister. You're going to see your father and your mother. We're all going to be together to worship Jesus Christ in heaven. We're going to have mansions. It's going to be a holy city. I know it's hard to make it to heaven. I know it's hard here on earth. But we're in this world, but not of the world. Satan's grip is being broken off your life. Not just broken, but destroyed. Say, Lord, come in my heart and save me. Wash away my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I'm tired of being on drugs. I'm tired of being on crack. I'm tired of being depressed. I give my body to you as a living sacrifice, holy and accept, acceptable unto you. I surrender. I surrender. I say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender my heart to you, Lord. Heal me, Jesus. Heal me, Lord. God is doing it right now. Somebody's being set free. I sense God's angels in the midst. I sense God's angels in the midst right now. I feel God's kind of glory in the midst. I can, I can see a cloud right now in the mist. Somebody's being set free. Somebody got asthma. Satan's grip is being broken off your life. That asthma is, is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus, make our sins disappear. Cancer disappear. Be healed. Mm, my peace I give unto thee, says the Lord. Satan's grip is broken. Come on, rejoice. Is already broken. God has given you a new peace. He's given you a new joy, not the drug joy, not the crack cocaine joy. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost joy. Now you can praise him freely, knowing that who the Son set free. He's free indeed. All around the world, let's love each other. Let's stop all the hate and the racism. 
Let's stop all the nonsense because the devil don't care what color you are. Ain't nothing racist about the devil. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm talking about Satan himself. He don't care what color you are. All kind of nationalities and, race, and races are in hell right now. Blacks, who is wicked. Whites, who is wicked. Chinese, who is wicked. Arabs, who is wicked. It's in every race. Died in hell, who, who never repented. Come on. There's no segregation in hell. Ain't no segregation in heaven. Satan, Satan welcomes all races. Yeah, come on, come on. I don't mind. I want your soul. That's the devil don't care about you. He, he's killing devil worship. He turned against his own people. Jesus cares. Don't curse at him or you will regret it. Because God is also a God of wrath. I don't play with him. But he loves you. If you say, Lord, I repent. And Lord, forgive me. He'll forgive you. He has open arms to embrace you with his love. He don't want to see you die and go to hell. You have a chance to repent. Satan's grip will be broken. It's being broken right now. This is your friend, the gospel. Street pastor, preacher Warren. I thank God for my wife, missionary, Lady Priscilla. Continue to bless my wife. Continue to cover her with the blood. I'm praying for your wife and your husband and your children. Thank you for praying for us. Let's pray for each other. We're going to make it. No matter how bad the state of the world is, God has a hedge around us and no plague will come nigh thy dwelling. No evil will befall us. I feel the presence of the Lord right now. Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Lord. You just want to take the time out for you right now. You didn't have to die for us on that cross, on that tree. You could have stayed in heaven. You're perfect. We don't even deserve your mercy. But because of the passion of Christ, you took our place to redeem us from our sins. Because you already know how bad hell is. Thank you for taking my place. Thank you for redeeming me from my sins. I want to stay humble before you. We want to stay humble before you. The every miracle that you do in this ministry, you get the glory. But the best miracle is to see a soul come to Jesus. Lord, Fill me with the Holy Ghost all over again. We're coming back to you. Lord, restore us. Lord, forgive us for our sins. Wash us. We take you very seriously. We take your spirit very seriously. People, too many people are mocking you, Jesus. You ain't no joke. What you did on that cross is not a joke. That was for real. I don't understand how people can say they love Jesus and mock his spirit. What you mocking his spirit for? Do not mock the Holy Spirit. Quench not the Holy Spirit, for you are sealed to the day of redemption. Satan's grip can be broken off your life. Throw away the horror movies. They got this new exorcist mess coming out. Black, ex, black girl and a white girl. Now they both them together. Both of them going to hell. They don't repent. They just magnifying demons in the horror movies. That's just a gateway to demons. Throw away the OG boys and the Ouija boys and the Tarot cards. Some just don't know. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. And so I will reject you for being priests unto me. And I will forget it by your children, but if you repent and come back to him, he will heal the land. Throw away all that stuff out your house. That's your curse thing. No wonder you've been haunted by demons. Watching too much too many horror movies. Throw away them Harry Potter's books. It's a gateway to demons, and now you'll see a difference. God bless you. This is your friend, the gospel. Preacher Warren, thank you for your love. Those who want to send you the gold funding for our church, just go to Holy and, Holy and Heavenly Flame of Fire Miracle Church Ministry. God bless you. Thank for all those who have been a blessing. And may God give you an increase. In Jesus' name, wishing you all the blessings from me and my wife. And most of all, we give you all the glory, God. What, what me and the angels have in common, that we worship you, saying glory, holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, God, the immortal one, God who sits on the throne, God bless you, hallelujah, amen and amen.